welcome back today I'm gonna try something a little bit different using this piece of Texas ebony it's got some pretty figure in it I'm not gonna spoil it and let you know what I'm doing but something a little bit different I know it's not a very big piece stay with me let's see what happens yeah you can see I'm still coming along on my workbench over here in the background but I picked up some goodies at SWAT got this piece of big leaf maple burl it's about 14 inches long about seven eight inches wide at the widest ten dollars ten dollars for this piece of burl why so cheap you ask well he told me it was because it was starting to get punky well I have a vacuum chamber and I bought some cactus juice while I was there so I'm gonna dry this real good and uh, cut it to the what I'm gonna do with it I'm gonna basically use two pieces I'll cut this here and then I'll use this for something and this for something anyway I'll dry it and I'll stabilize it and then I'm gonna cast it I don't know what I'm gonna make yet I'm still thinking about it but I was excited to get it this little LED light you can see it in the package right here those are the magnets the LEDs are on the other side this sticks to the back of your tool rest and shines into your piece pretty cool 30 bucks at the show great deal one of my viewers Todd Phipps has a 3d printer and he made this segmented wheel and said I might want to use it for something in one of my turnings so yeah yeah I'm gonna use it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna fill these with different colors of resin and this will be either a feature ring of a small vase or uh, and maybe even the upper ring of, a, of something. I don't know yet, but I'm going to use it. Thanks, Todd. And these two tools, I'm blaming on Sam Angelo. And he knows it because I already told him. I picked me up a pair of thread chasers, so we'll see where that goes. I couldn't, re I, I couldn't resist, though. Alan Lacer had them for like 98 for the pair. I, some years ago, I bought a set of palm carvers from Harbor Freight, thinking they would be good for things I needed to... to to take care of or like the nubs on the bottom of a bowl instead of using a flat chisel sometimes you want something that's got a little curve to it and and they're just junk absolute junk they're not worth the money I spent on them don't ever buy them and uh, I can't get an edge on them no matter what I use or how I try to sharpen them they're absolute junk but I picked this two guy palm carver up at the show it's from Austria good steel I, it's really sharp I should be able to get an edge on it without any problem when I need to uh, we had a new vendor show up at SWAT this year Bigfoot carving tools and he won the American Beauty yes they give away five lathes this year three jet mid four jet middies and an American Beauty and Scott Boyle from Bigfoot Carving Tools won it. While I was at it, I picked up this chip carver from OCCT. Just in case I, I need to use it for something. Ron Campbell and Lana, or I should say Ron and Lana Campbell, from Arizona Carbide are always there. Uh, I picked up this little pro hogger for my uh, elbow tool, the Tim Yoder elbow tool. The cobalt cutter is good, but everybody raves about this, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I also picked up a carbide scraper to put on it as well. It was great to see Ron and Landa, Lana again. My buddy Todd Rains was there, y'all saw that. I picked up this Jimmy Clues Make 2 curved small hollower so I can do smaller hollow forms that the elbow tool won't let me get into. I think this will be just what the doctor ordered. I also bought a half inch adapter so that this will fit in my elbow tool. I just put this in and I'm good to go if I don't want to put this in a handle and get beat up. If I do want to put it in a handle, also from Todd Range, this is his own manufacturer meaning he has this stuff made himself for him. He sells them.
It's called the modular handle system. I fell in love with it when I saw it on his web on his uh, YouTube channel. And you can get it. I think I got the 20 inch version. You can put as many pieces together and make the handle as long as you want, but he sells them in I don't know, 12 to 36 inch versions, I believe. You'll have to check his site out to make sure, but I ended up just getting the, okay, maybe I got the 18 inch. Percy. So two 8 inch pieces, a coupler, an end cap, and the half inch adapter, and my clues holler will go right in here. So I can holler. So I'm excited about this. Haven't tried it yet, obviously, but I will. And of course, lots of stickers and stuff. So let's get on with it. Got some new stickers for my cabinet. The first one is Dreadnought Woodshop. Daryl Jones met him at SWAT and we exchanged stickers. Great guy. Anyway, if you haven't had a chance to see, check out Daryl's channel, I'll put a link, I'll put a link up here. Very talented Turner. Got another sticker from the Canadian Turner, Gord Rock. If you haven't seen his channel, check it out. Again, I'll put a link. And the links will be in the description below. Gord's a good guy. And Kim Tippin. I'm sure you've seen her by now. Again, a description and a link. And uh, I'll get yours in the mail straight away, Kim. Let's see. I think I'm going to put her over here with Doug. But not least, by a long shot, I got this from Tom and Annette Ackley. Axe Wood Paste, my new sponsor. And I think I'm going to put them right here. So, if you want to do a sticker swap, shoot me an email and uh, we'll get you taken care of. And while we're doing the sticker thing, I'm sure you recognize, I'm sure you recognize that. I got that from Cat Mitty at SWAT. We did a, an exchange as well. And, and it's not exactly a sticker, but I've, I got an AZ carbide magnet from my buddy Ron Campbell. Again, descriptions all over the place. So that's that. I decided to use this piece of wood instead. It's uh, Pecky Cypress. It's going to be pretty soft and it's the, the Pecky voids are filled with resin. You can see I've got it marked for center and then off center on both ends. Yes, it's going to be an off center turning of sorts. Let me show you what I mean. This is proof of concept. I don't know if this is going to work. Just an idea I had last night. Put my spindle gouge on. Turn it about 1200. All right, let me hit that with a skew. Smooth some of that grain up. Yeah, I'll have 
have to do some significant hand sanding when it's all said and done, but... A lot more tear out on this side. Switch the grain direction, it got better, except for the, the resin. But I'm a little thick there, so... Use my skew, my small skew as a scraper. See, that cleaned it up nice. I may have to fill that, but I'm gonna wait. I need to hit this this way with my big skew on the drive. done sanding but I got one more thing to do now that I'm here <laughs> I hear you what in the world are you doing Billy well I don't know I got a picture in my head I'm using the skew as a scraper because there's a lot of resin in there, otherwise I'd use it more traditionally. And I don't want to chip that resin out if I can help it. That I'll fill if I need to. Okay. sure hope this works. Well, that was an unfortunate turn of events. See how bad I am. Okay.
I need to come down a little bit more. I'm not quite in far enough. spot too so super glue to the rescue I'm not really worried about the staining yet all right now I've got it between centers in the center and I'm going to refine my shape a little bit more ah, I guess I should have waited a few hours huh Okay, let's try this again.
actually broke kind of where I wanted it to. So the rest of it I'm going to shape by hand. Well, I'm sure you can tell what shape I'm going for now. It's just a little pendant. Proof of concept more than anything else, but it works. So I'm going to finish sanding and see if I can find a brass eye to screw in it and put some finish on it. When it's all finished up, I'll come back. So here it is, all done. A little heart pendant turned on the lathe with a little bit of power carving and sanding. Go try one. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. It's a relatively quick project, not too hard to do. So if you feel like giving it a whirl, go ahead. I used, uh, I, I basically just used a pin blank to do it. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Uh, I showed the uh, showed you the offset holes and I showed you the side to side turning. So, really, that's all there is to it. It's not difficult. Thanks again for watching. Y'all come back.